In today's video, we're gonna review the Olive Garden here in Sevierville, Tennessee. So if you like good food, you're looking for a place to eat while here in the Smokies, stay tuned. We're gonna do a complete walkthrough of everything Olive Garden has to offer. As we walked in, we were warmingly welcomed by the hostess. They said it would be a 45 minute to an hour wait. We proceeded to give them our phone number so they can text us when our table was ready. It was less than 10 minutes later, my phone went off and we were being seated. As the Olive Garden being a chain restaurant, I love how they decorate. They make you feel like you're in a real Italian villa. All the warm colors and decor make you feel like you're in Tuscany. let's take a look at this menu it says let's eat so they have appetizers they have fried mozzarella they have toasted ravioli never-ending dipping sauces for breadsticks they also have soup and salad they have the never-ending soup and salad which is my favorite minestrone soup they have classic entrees of course the tour of Italy being my favorite they have uh, spaghetti and meatballs five cheese ziti they have chicken scampi a fettuccine alfredo chicken alfredo and you can create your own pasta for 12.49 you can choose a pasta a sauce and a protein I also have uh, spaghetti for 8.99 spaghetti and meatballs for 9.99 and they have their dessert menu I like that strawberry cream cake our waiter has been really great so far. He brought our drinks to us quickly. Uh, now we're waiting to put our order in. And um, I'm excited. I'm going to get the tour of Italy. What are you going to get? The chicken prima, prima something. You're going to get the ch you're gonna get the chicken, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So our waiter is actually one of the cooks. They had to have some of the cooks come out and wait because the, you know, they're understaffed. One of my favorite things here at Olive Garden is the salad. And of course, the breadsticks. <laughs> I'm taking the pepperoni. Oh, but I want one. And I want the tomato. And a tomato? Yep, there's a tomato in there. I get it. Oh yeah, they got some uh, croutons and onion and uh, there's some black olives in there. Yes, yes. Oh wow, it looks, looks really, really good. Yeah, pepperoni. The breadsticks are really good, but I don't think they put the Italian dressing in the salad. So we'll have to wait for them to come back and ask them if it's in here. But it seems to be really dry to me, doesn't it? It's dry. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure they put the uh, Italian in it. I love these breadsticks. They're nice and garlicky. Yeah, there's no dressing in it whatsoever. Just salad and uh, that's about it. <laughs> the question of the day is, are we gonna get the salad dressing first or a meal first? <laughs> I am voting that we're gonna get the meal first and then we'll get the salad dressing. The salad is good if you had the dressing to go with it. Ah, uh -huh, there it is. Oh, you're good, you're fine. Thank you. And the dressing has arrived. Uh -huh. 
Now we have the dressing on that salad. Their Italian dressing is phenomenal, and that's what makes these salads. I knew there was something different. I'm like, wait a second. There we go. That's the taste there. Yeah. A lot better with the dressing. Yes. So this is my tour of Italy. You get lasagna, fettuccine alfredo, and chicken parmesan. And I've always gotten this over the years, ever since I could remember. And I always get it. I never try anything different. And what did you get, Dawn? Chicken and broccoli. Yeah, you got the chicken margarita. Yeah. And it looks really good. You get the broccoli and some green stuff right <laughs> pesco. pesco sauce oh okay yeah pesco it makes sense with a little bit of cheese and you got tomatoes pesco and um there's some garlic on that uh broccoli it smells really 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 good the first bite of chicken margarita it's got the cheese on it sauce on you can taste the lemon lemon herb in it too it's got cherry tomatoes cooked cherry tomatoes and steamed broccoli mm. oh that looks good yeah we're good yeah. Yeah, it looks really good, don't it? Yeah. Mmm. You can taste the pesto in it. Really, really good. Here's the fettuccine alfredo. And I love fettuccine alfredo, especially with steak. Steak and fettuccine are my favorite. Look at that. It's hot, it's steaming. Wow, really good, really, really good. It's very creamy, um, yeah, cheesy. It's got that strong um, Alfredo taste, I guess you would call it. I guess that's the right way of, uh, <laughs> of saying it, but it's a really good quality. Here's the lasagna, and I love a good lasagna. And they, they don't do too bad of a job here being a chain restaurant and all. Uh, their food is really good here. Look at that, you can see the different layers and the tomato sauce and a little bit of the meat in there. This is the chicken parm. Chicken parm is breaded nicely um, and it's crunchy, which is good, or crispy, I guess you would say. Uh, it's tender in the center, uh, definitely got a good amount of sauce on it, and the uh, parmesan on top really sets it off. Yeah, so you can see the different layers in there. Yeah, looking good. It's baked just right. There's some little bit of meat there. And there's the sauce, and I can't get enough of that fettuccine yes and there's the chicken parm looking looking good super super hot so what's your favorite part so far probably the broccoli and the chicken is really good too so you like that broccoli huh for a chain restaurant they do such a great job it's amazing i heard a long time ago that they used to send their cooks to Italy uh, to learn how to cook. I don't think they do that anymore, but at one time they used to. That's gonna do it for me, I'm totally full. But I always get a second day out of it and it's actually better in the microwave on the second day than it is when you eat it, or at least I think that way. And we're gonna take some breadsticks home and a little bit of that salad. We never, ever, ever get dessert, but we decided to try this strawberry cake 
and it smells really good. You can smell them um, strawberries, and it smells like strawberry shortcake, you know what I mean? And I'm guessing that's what it is. I see you eyeing the cake. Like a, like a, a Cheeto would eye its prey. You gotta eat it before it gets hot. Hot? <laughs> that was a joke. Alright, let's get into this. Um, Dawn's, Dawn's eyes were like three times the size that they normally are. Creamy. Strawberry shortcake is really what it really is. Good. Yeah. And there's a side view of that cake. It's very moist. Very, very moist. Strawberry cake was $8.29. Two soft drinks were $6.58. The tour of Italy was $19.49. And Dawn's chicken margarita was $17.99. And our total was $58.50. I enjoyed my evening out at the Olive Garden. Yeah, it was a, it was just a spur of the moment. And we decided to do a review for you. Uh, we had a good review, even though that they were understaffed and they were slow at things. And there was a couple mess ups. But they pulled through and they did everything correctly and uh, they're real champs down there. Now normally we don't do a lot of these uh, chain restaurants but we've been getting asked a lot lately. We guys start doing them and we are. We're going to slowly start peppering them in. Plus we want to do some more mom and pop type stuff uh, like we always have. Uh, I guess the big question is Dawn would you do it again? Definitely. Definitely. Yes. We've done it hundreds yeah. of times. We've been doing it for years even before we were on YouTube. Um, you know, Olive Garden is one of our favorite places. Also, Texas Roadhouse. We'll be bringing you that review shortly. But, folks, that's going to do it for today here in Sevierville. If you guys like this vlog, give, give it a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. Guys, put in the comments below. What did you think? And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.